Hello everybody, my name is Ömer Karavacak, I am from Turkey, today we are with Elza, hey Elza, how are you? Hello everybody, hello Ömer, thank you, I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, how is going? Um, today I'm so happy because it's so sunny day and I mean the everything is going good and I think that we defeat uh, the coronavirus as well. I hope so. Yeah, so. and I'm so glad. Yeah. Uh, today we are speaking uh, about the children right and uh, our topic for today it is about the children rights and about the children's uh, before the speak uh, about what is the children rights we can you can told us who is the children and who is the young yeah under the 18th years it's the uh, children and they are children actually we we are children <laughs> and um yeah we children right is the i think it's the universal right for children and we have to take care of them we have to protect their rights we have to teach them what their rights are and we have to help them because this is um our future uh, and this is our i think main goal and we have to do it yeah you are right and now uh, what is the uh, children right as i mentioned uh, for me it's universal right and um the children right is um to be they they to be um safe uh they have to be their right is to have um family to have love and to be loved and um, to have a safe environment, clean environment and um, everything is that um, they have to be protected uh, any kind of dangerous issues. Yeah, what do you think? What's, what's the children right? Children right, uh, as you told, it is universal, universal uh, right and uh, the children rights is the who under the 18 years old he has the same right uh, like social right education right and all of them take the in the same uh, quality mm -hmm. uh, don't look if this child uh, black or white or this child from the other religion or this is because uh, we know a, a lot of countries uh, working like this. If you don't, if you're not from this religion or this ethnic group or something, you are without this education system or education uh, life or the social life. It's very bad thing. Uh, to do it is the whole uh, children rights. It uh, a lot of I think is like. 14 uh, article uh, we have a lot of and yesterday we are reading about this uh, we speak about some of them it is like uh, have parents or family mm -hmm. yeah. quality life and uh, quality healthy uh, and I don't know maybe you you remember something about this? Uh, yeah, um, we the children's right is to have you mentioned it parents and safe environment, safe family, uh, high quality education, um, and uh, yeah, we have to. They have um, they have rights to be live uh, like a free and independent person and we yeah. have to respect the right rights. to quality right to health care right to uh, live in safe uh, season, zone or safe uh, mm -hmm. country 
Yeah. Right to be equal, equal clean water. You know, yeah. a lot of country don't have clean water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right to love. We don't speak about the love. Right to love. Right to be care about them. Right to be yeah. uh, lovely with them. And we have we have a lot of uh, about this protected. Right to be protected. Yeah. yeah. And we have uh, children rights rights convention, right? Yeah. And um, all these rights are uh, protected um, by this convention, and we have to we have to uh, respect our children yeah. because they are our future, and yeah, that's why we are doing this. It's very nice. Uh, do you think we need some? different right or we need to change some right you have any idea about this um what do you mean i mean it is like uh, maybe we can if we add this right or we add this article maybe it's better for the children different thing or we don't i think that the sometimes um people don't respect kids yeah. like they don't think that they are. They think that they are kids, and uh, the kids have to follow parents or I mean young people's rules, yes. uh, which is mistake for me. Uh, we have to listen to these children, and it will be better if we listen to them, and we have to answer the questions of them uh, because they have a lot of answers. And when I was kid, sometimes I was asking to my parents some some maybe stupid questions but it was I was kid and yeah. I wanted to know what, what's what's what wrong. For going? example, yeah, why is why are the stars on the sky and not on the ground? And um yeah we maybe they for us it's sometimes these questions are so hard to explain but we have to answer and we don't uh, we don't just skip it. Uh because yeah, they are human mm. and they have rights to know, uh, I don't know, things. yeah, a lot of things and we don't, I I hope and I want to that the young people, older people and the parents um, just pay attention to their kids, their kids' answers, questions and they, we, we have to answer them. Yeah, you, we have to answer. And uh, what do you think about the special uh, zone? The kids have the special zone or special room when you come to this room you have some different right or other right um yeah we all have our private space yeah. right uh and children have it as well uh for example sometimes parents demands to um knock on the door before you come to that room like the police coming in the house yeah open the door <laughs> yeah and um they they going going through their room their children's room um without the knocking or asking may i come and something and i think that uh, we have to respect our children's private space and we have to think about it and uh, we have to we have to let them uh, understand that we respect them and they are um, they are I mean independent like each person uh, yeah. and yeah this is quite important because when you do this I mean when you knock on the door can, and ask can I come in or may I come in um, it means that you respect them and you think that they are meaningful in your life yeah, yeah. and automatic automatically this uh, come back to you when you respect the other person as a person automatically he respects you yeah and this is very good uh, experience yeah of course when we want to when we want respectful for from someone we have to respect as well this is yeah this is this is a rule <laughs> It is good. And what do you ha do? You have any idea what what one do you want to change or add or anything? Mm, no, but maybe we can uh, 
work a lot of on the, this right and uh, give uh, space for the non-government uh, organization for the work because the, this uh, organization uh, give you some a new idea, mm -hmm. new deal, new experience. Mm -hmm. And we can find something new from here mm -hmm. because the, this organization work uh, directly with the kids and uh, understand can understand what their children uh, need and uh, what is the what is problems and we can find something when we work this and i don't uh, know in this time i don't know what we can change mm -hmm. and maybe the, in the other question we can find uh, something new about this mm -hmm. yeah. but before they go to the other question we go to musical break uh, now we're going for the short music break. Uh, stay with us. Uh, we come soon. Uh, hello, everybody. Again, we are come back. We are with Elsa today. We speak about the uh, children rights. Hello, Elsa again. Hello. Uh, before the going the. Music break. We speak about uh, what is the children' right, and now how, I want to ask you how we can protect the children' right. Um, we can protect um, be respectful. I mean, if we respect the children' rights, we protect them. It means that we protect them. Um, with the education, we have to teach them. Uh, what's their rights and uh, how can they protect it? Uh, and um, the education actually is the is the um, good way to solve the problems. And um, yeah, I think with the education and um, um, and uh, with our respectful attitude. What do you think? Okay, yeah, continue. the first thing uh, we can protect it with the education, how you taught, as you taught. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, we have to uh, save this right and working on this right. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, I know this right and we can uh, work about this right after or make something after. Uh, we have to work a lot on this right and we can uh, touch not just the kid or children we need to uh, touch uh, the uh, parents mm -hmm. the people all of the people what is the children what is the main and uh, why is it very important the the children are right we have to speak about this now we when we look for the numbers of the children rights today 280 million children living in the uh, not safe uh, zone the country like Syria like Yemen like the mm -hmm. a lot of countries as the war and now 1.7 billion children uh, has some uh, violence violence, violence mm -hmm. uh, experience each mm -hmm. year in the one year not the Mm -hmm. It's very big number, and mm -hmm. two in five women has uh, children before the nineteen years old. Mm -hmm. This is the big number. I don't know. Is the numbers uh, just a bit numbers from the, this world? We maybe we have a lot of number and uh, working. I think uh, the number uh, in Turkey. When I talk about the big country and the uh, uh, country has a big industry and working has around uh, 500,000 workers under the 80 mm -hmm. years old. This big number when you talk about the country like Turkey. For this we have to protect the women, the children, right? For this we need these children going to, work, to school, not to work, mm -hmm. going for the play in the garden, not to play in the uh, factory or the company or the something. Yes, for this we, have, we need 
to change yeah. something, protect something. We need to work a lot for the protect this. We can protect this like to make movie. You know, we I watching movie. It's Kafar Nahum. I don't know. Maybe you know. One children yeah. from Syria is in living in Lebanon, mm -hmm. and uh, this movie uh, about what he live in this life, how is uh, won the uh, money, how is to live from where he can find the money, and uh, in the in the last of the movie he go to uh, ask parents why you. Uh, born me in this life. I don't want mm -hmm. living. It's very bad. You have to protect for these children. The children, he don't, he don't know what is the religion. He don't know what is the ethnic group. He don't know anything. He just know the play or the school. He cannot understand what is going in this world. Yeah, they are studying from us. Uh, they are yeah. seeing what like environment is and. Um, they are studying for the nature, for from us and from school and from education system and something like this, right? Uh, and that's why we have to work on the education and uh, the Capernaum, which you mentioned, is so good example. This movie is a good example of the yes. of the reality sometimes. Um, yeah, we have some problems in Georgia as well. For example, so many uh, school students are going to the Turkey for the working and they uh, bring the money to the family and they can't uh, get an education, high quality education because they miss the lessons because they are working uh, abroad. Um, and the working is so hard for them because they are they are kids, I mean, yeah. and it's so hard to work, and especially in abroad, um, it's so hard. And when we are talking about the protest, it means that we don't, we have to support them to get high quality education, and then they will, they will be employed, and they will be in a service of the country. So it means that. Um, yeah, we, 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 sometimes we don't do our best to change the situation mm -hmm. and this is the problem. When we speak about the, this problem, not just in Turkey, who is the children working under the 80, we have a lot of country who, who is the working, the children working, not just in Turkey or Georgia or some, in, the, in this in the I think it's everywhere we can find like this. And now when I'm looking, one in seven Somalian children under the one age, mm -hmm. he is the under one age, he is has uh, a big problem with the food because he cannot food the clean water and the uh, healthy food. Mm -hmm. And to one of them, he died. Mm -hmm. When you speak about this, we have now in this world, Three hundred thousand uh, children. He is uh, in the soldier in the military. Mm -hmm. This is a big uh, factor and big problem. Yeah. Uh, because he is shy. He don't understand anything. Yeah. And for this, we need to protect uh, the whole, the children' right and working about uh, something to change the situation to the better, because the children is the. Uh, future as you told is to our future yeah it's so pity that it's 21 century and we are facing like these problems like human problems uh, like human rights children rights problems because we 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 um we import right right uh, and we have new technology, new things, um, and we are trying to become our life more comfortable. And it should be for all of them, uh, all of us. I mean, all of the kids have to um, get a education and shouldn't be in the street for the money or, uh, or I don't know. We. Sometimes we have so
so big trouble in this case and uh, it's so bad. Um, yeah, we have some organizations who works on it uh, and um, they are trying to help the kids. Uh, we have shelters as well uh, and um, yeah, but still we, we've yeah. got the problems and yeah, it's not been, enough. Uh, it's not enough, yeah. Right. We need a lot of people working, we need a lot of uh, organization working, we need the government working. Mm -hmm. the yeah, the first of all, yeah. Now, I want to ask this question, it's very uh, short. When should we start teaching this right to the children? Which uh, year you think is better? In f under the five years, up to five years, after the ten years old? From the childhood, I think. We have to speak with them. Sometimes, I mean, in the childhood, maybe... Um, we can't realize what they are, I mean, the parents talking about, but when, when the children grow up, um, um, they realize what's going on because they are facing a, a lot of problems. And, um, yeah, we have to um, talk about, uh, about the rights because they have to know what their rights are and how how they can protect themselves um and um yeah the the um solve of this problem is to talk with them and to teach with teach with them how can they protect themselves from the childhood. Yes, uh, I think. Like in school, in family. I, I think uh, we can start to when he is uh, two or three years old. It is in, in this uh, yeah. years. And we can maybe start with the respect. Teach, yes, of course. Teach him how we can respect with the people and how is the people respect you. And after that, what is your uh rights uh, what you need what you have what we what you have to do for us and for the community was what is the this country white from you and a lot of things like this i think like this is my uh, idea mm, and you know what uh, when we are talking to our kids um, they must not feel that there is um, age differentiation. We have to be like them, for yeah. example. Yeah, because um, when you're talking like on a tough way uh, with the kids, they don't understand why you why you prohibit something and why you don't explain it. And it's better to uh, speak with our kids with their arguments. And we have to explain um, on an easy way uh, what's going on, why it's going on, and something um, because it's easy, and they they will feel that they are important, and they will feel that somebody cares of them. Nice, yeah, all right. And uh, what do you think about this? Do you think the schools help the children to learn or to touch? What is the children' right? Um, the school's duty is to to teach them what's the children' rights. Um, schools do it, but I think it's not strong enough um, because um, we have a lot of uh, e cases in school of bullying, for example. Uh, and why does it happen? Because they don't know their rights and they are, right. yeah, uh, and it means it means that we have some um, some minus in the education system or in the school, yeah. and we have to we have to speak about these problems and then we have to help the schools. How can they um, change the situation? Uh, but sometimes we prefer to hide these cases and just be quiet and don't say nothing. And this is big mistakes. Um, yeah, yeah. School has a huge role in the um, in the uh, 
protecting of their children rights yes. uh, i think is the school is not enough yes and, of course but and uh, after the school maybe the government work like this program maybe i don't know uh, after the school like one hour or two hours working with the uh, non uh, government organization some course some different uh, playing game, something uh, movie, read book and from this way you can teach the children what is the right and what why you be respect, respect uh, with the other children, with your friend, with your family and a lot of things. The school is not enough I think because in the school you because uh, the, you touch the language, the mathematics, the, I don't know, a lot of things you take in the school. And this is not uh, give you good time for the touch the right, and like human right, like child right, a lot of things. I agree with you for sure, but school is still important. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. But uh, the time, if you take a lot of time like in the other uh, lessons that I told you mathematics language and something mm -hmm. you don't find uh, enough time for the other thing that like the right and the playing the gaming this mm -hmm. is the problem the time is a problem and you cannot uh, put the child in the school like 10 hours yeah he be born and he don't like he and hate the school this is a big problem not just, uh, I don't know, we, maybe we have to think about a lot of things, uh, different uh, way for the find. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solution. And uh, what about, uh, do you think the parents know enough what is the children's right? Mm. Or respect enough? The children right I can talk about um, Georgia's example uh, sometimes parents don't know they are children and um, it means that they don't know um, they don't know rights as well um, because um, as I mentioned, a lot of children go to the abroad and they can't uh, get a high um, quality education because they are working and parents sometimes are at home uh, and doing some homeworks um, by, like garden and something. Um, and um, yeah, I mean sometimes they don't don't know or they don't want to know i don't know what's the problem uh but uh in georgia a lot of parents um are like like tough parents they uh they prefer to control their children's life uh and um but in new generation this problem is not very very popular mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, time is changing and yes. we are changing and the situation is changing uh, so yeah I think in the we need time uh, but it should not be a long time because we have to we have to solve this problem in a short time um, for our future yeah you're right well, what's going on in Turkey or is, I don't know what's your it is opinion? same but I think Mm, not uh, before 30 years or 25 years is the situation changed for the better and uh, last 20 years is very different because the parents and the people uh, understand what is the human right what is the children right and uh, now it's very different situation now is very different who is the older people now yes, is same uh, he want to control, he want to, but no, who is the 45 years old and 40 years old, he is understand, the children has right, children mm -hmm. has choice, 
uh, he has right to choose what he want uh, yeah it's uh, just different i know a lot of people who is the uh, has on my age uh, should uh, like my friends he's very good for has very, very good family and uh, can uh, stay with the children or with the f her son, him son, uh, and accept what he want and what he want to choose in his life. Yeah, because we new generation have um, different value. Yeah. And we have different opinion, different view about the things, uh, and this is the reason. And I hope. The situation will be going on a good way, and yeah, we will do it. I hope. Okay. Uh, now we go to short music break again. This is the last uh, music break. Uh, we came after the music break. Hello, everybody again. Uh, you are with uh, me, Ayab Mumer and uh, Elza. Uh, now we, I want to ask you the third question is about uh, why should the children right be respected? Um, because we talked about the human rights, do you remember the last show? And yeah. this is the part of human rights and when we want to be protect our life, our rights, um, children rights has to be also uh, respect respected more from our side and all children have an inherent uh, right to life and we have to respect their rights um, because this is as we mentioned already uh, this is new generation and it's up to you what kind of future we will have um, our attitude uh, will determine a lot of a lot of things uh, in the future. So I think that uh, we all have to respect um, just human rights and children rights is part of the human rights, right? Uh, and um, we have to, ch children have to rights to privacy and something like this and we have to respect it and we have to we have to um, take care of all of the rights of the ch children. What do you think? Yeah, we have to uh, respect this uh, right uh, and uh, respect the children's rights uh, because it's very important for the, our future. And uh, when we have to, uh, if you uh, wonder or if you want to make our future very good and very uh, better, uh, we need to respect the children and children right. We need to uh, touch him and learn a lot think uh, for them about what is the human uh, what is the children right and uh, give them the respect. The respect is very important in our life and I ask you to the, the uh, children right is part of the human right. Uh, and the human rights have a lot of parts, like last time when we speak about mm -hmm. the gender equality, it's the part of the human, human rights, right, yeah. the children uh, right part of the... Uh, when you collect all of the, this uh, right and the quality, you find the very good community and very good uh, security. And you can find the... how you to... Utopia, the mm -hmm. utopia of the uh, country. Yeah, it is very important for our and very important for our future. For this, we have to respect uh, the children, right? And the main point is that um, they have right to be respected. Yeah. This is the point, and yes. we have to respect it. <laughs> now we come to last question. Uh, do you have any experience working with the children? I don't have. A lot of experience, like, but um, I'm working with the uh, uh, children um, in youth center, and um, we I was working um, for about the raising awareness of the 
um, of the some cases, for example, tolerance, democracy, freedom of speech, hate speech, and something like this. Um, but um, I think that um, yeah, my experience is like educational experience because I was working um, on non-formal education, informal education, and. Um, yeah, this is my experience, and I think that uh, it teached me uh, a lot of things. Uh, and um, after this, um, I studied a lot of things from the children uh, because each of them are quite interesting, and they have um, different opinion about the things, and it 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 makes me so happy uh, because they are free. Uh, than my generation and uh, they want more than my gen generation and all day I come across um, the differentiation between the generations. Yeah. Do, do you have any kind of experience? Yeah, I have a uh, lot of experience about uh, children, work with the children. Uh, you know, and uh, in Turkey we have a lot of uh, the big number about uh, for the refugees mm -hmm. and the uh, refuge mm -hmm. and I'm working in the as volunteer in refuge camp mm -hmm. and work with the children. It's very good uh, experience because mm -hmm. uh, when you work with the child, it's very good uh, experience and you touch and you learn a lot of things mm -hmm. and. Uh, we learn uh, how we can stay uh, how helpful, how we can uh, uh, a lot of things uh, like uh, when we work with one child, I remember when we work with one child, mm -hmm. uh, he told me uh, I have a lot of uh, bullying mm -hmm. in the school. Because he is from other, uh, you know, he's from other country, and uh, you know, some kids don't know what is the mean, mm -hmm. and he has uh, experience with the pulling. I I ask him what you do. I don't do anything. Just I be silent and listening what the people, what he that the kids told to him. One of time. Uh, I'm going for the see what what is going in the school, mm -hmm. and I saw this uh, problem, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, it is come to me to idea one idea. Mm -hmm. We make one video. The child speak like I am child, and I am like you. I don't have any uh, different. Uh, mm -hmm. I am eight years old, you are eight years old, you eat, I am eight, you have to ask, I have to ask. We don't need to be boiling and we don't mm -hmm. need to be resistant. Racism. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, this uh, take a big uh, follow in Turkey and all of the people work on this because, uh, you know, now we are in in the 2020 and this um, this situation has to be in the past mm -hmm. it has to uh, solution this situation in this year mm -hmm. we are in the 21 century and uh, it's very good uh, experience uh, because play and touch when you play and touch and learn is very good and very um, fun Mm -hmm. You take the, a lot of fun with the work with his children. Yeah, I learn a lot of things from the, this child and from the other child, children. Uh, and I like it and I want uh, more again go and work in like this experience, like this work. Oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we come to, we have, you want to speak anything, add something, or? Um, yeah, the, I went to some, our, uh, today's meeting, um, 
I want the future over the children's right will be protected and general human right will be protected and um, we people have to work on it and nobody can do nobody else can to change this and we have to do it together uh, because there is no differentiation between the human we are all are human yeah. um, there is no differentiation like color or religious or traditions or something uh, we are the same and and um, we need each other and we have to we have to protect ourselves our rights and we have to respect each other and i i want the future like this for our children i hope this uh, make and for our children the future and uh, all of the this right is be better and strong i hope this now we come to the finish the our uh, topic for today and uh, I hope we meet again next week. Thank you, Elsa, for uh, sharing your information and uh, uh, for the, this good conversation for with you. Thank you so much. It was so good, and I I heard a lot of things from you. And thank you thank so you. much for inviting me. Too. me. Uh, see you uh, next week. I hope you are uh, be well. And uh, see you next week.